Honey, just the way you like it. There's not really any food in the house, though. I've only been sleeping here when I work back-to-back -back days at the hospital. Aiden and I kind of worked out a schedule. But I can go out and get you something. Anything you want. Even that turkey jerky that's so high in nitrates that it's too dangerous for human consumption. You know, if that's what you wanted. I don't think I can eat right now. Right. Uh... Well, that's, that's okay. Do you, uh, do you just want to maybe go to bed? Is it time for bed? I'm sorry. I'm, I don't know what to do. I'm so happy you're home and I want to take care of you. Yeah, I know. You are. Nora, it's just that... Sally! You're here. What keeps happening to you? Well, I can't just... Why... How are you here right now? I left you all in the woods with an impaled werewolf corpse. Well, you were gone. We didn't know what to do. So when Aiden realized that Josh was inside of the wolf, we just... We pulled him out. You pulled him out? Yeah, and it was, uh... Really gross, if you must know. I wasn't finished, Nora. The spell wasn't finished. You shouldn't have done anything without me. Why didn't you We just... didn't know where you were. We could just wait. Not after everything that he went through. And besides, even if there was more to it, Josh is here. He's home. And it's all because of you. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, the magic, it's all so new. Like, I'm just flying on instinct here. What if Aiden was right? Maybe I shouldn't have messed with everything so soon. Listen to me, okay? You were right. You saved him. I'm sorry, I doubted you. You okay? I'm here. You know, I think we should really be celebrating with something stronger than tea. Yes! Welcome home. <sighs> 